So, you know, there's pedophiles, right, who buy child pornography. Mm -hmm. Would you say they should not be held responsible for doing that? Yes. Really? Even though mm -hmm. they're directly supporting child rape? Yeah. I think that's it's uh, it's hypocritical. If if I because I, I bought my computer and the silicon in it was farmed in Africa by slaves, if I can do that and that's legal that's... and no one's going to call me out in my shit, then yeah, I have to be consistent in that respect. Okay, look, um, I I think there's levels to this, so I wouldn't equate buying a computer to buying child pornography. I just want to say, do you think it maybe speaks a little bit to the fact that we have a rape culture when we put six people in a room together to talk about Me Too and the four, when they're like, hey, who of you have experienced sexual assault? And the four women sit down and they've all been raped and they all can barely choke out a coherent sentence. Uh, uh, um, like... Does it, do we think this perhaps maybe slightly speaks to the fact that there's a problem? Like, huh, Me Too has gone too far. False allegations are ruining people's lives. Okay. Who among you have experienced sexual assault? And, like, every woman in the room starts crying? Like, <laughs> I Almost every female friend I have has been uh, ex ex the, the recipient of sexual assault or violence or rape or whatever at some point in their lives. Seriously. It's such a common thing. I think one in four is probably understating it significantly. I wouldn't be surprised if the rate for sexual assault on women over one's lifetime was as high as one in three or one in two. We just don't know because nobody fucking reports because reports aren't taken seriously. That's what Me Too is about. You're like, I don't think things are on the same level, but things impact you in like bizarre ways. But yeah, like because the perpetrator wasn't white um, and because he was like, I I'm, you know, part of like a certain religion. Um, are wait, are we being real? And when the police were basically just like, we can't because um, of cultural differences, which I don't feel like is such a good. What? Bullshit. Are you fucking kidding me? Did she turn her fucking rape confession into how, onto how the rape fugees, fucking Ahmed Muhammad, raped her and the police were like, oh, we can't persecute brown people. Bullshit. Bullshit. In fucking Australia? Bullshit, dude. Is there anything on this? What's this bitch's name? 